Rangers are close again on signing number five in Amidala Sema, but that's not going to be the last of the incomings at Ibrox this summer. The Jers are set for a ton more signings, and today we listen to what a Rangers expert had to say with regards to one of them. Not only that, but we'll also go over all the latest Rangers news from the last 24 hours. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Amidala Simmer is set to undergo a medical at Rangers today. The Brighton forward will conduct the relevant fitness test this afternoon ahead of joining on a season-long loan. Barring any last-minute hitches, it's understood that the move will be officially announced on Thursday. The 22-year-old has yet to make a first-team appearance for Brighton. He joined from Slavia Prague and actually played against Rangers in 2021. He has spent the last two seasons out on loan though, and Ibrox is his latest destination. Michael Beer wants to get the deal over the line prior to his side's return to pre-season training on Friday. He will join up with Kieran Dow, Dujon Sterling, Sam Lammers and Jack Butland as the club's new signings. Simmer netted six times in 37 appearances for Anger's last term in Ligue 1. With previous club Slavia, he scored 11 goals in 24, which earned him a move to the Premier League. It is believed Beer is still keen to strengthen in forward areas, with Feyenoord's Danilo and Cremonese striker Cyril Dessas very much on the radar. Just a quick one guys, before we get back into the video, we're currently doing £5 off all our Rangers t-shirts. We also have brand new designs, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or going to rfcclothing.com. Anyway, let's get back into today's video. Rangers would be signing a better player than Alfredo Morelos if they complete the signing of Danilo this summer. That is according to Rangers legend Alan Hutton, who spoke with Football Insider and stated that Danilo is an A-list operator, although potentially out of the club's price range. According to our sources, on Tuesday, Rangers made a bid to land a striker, but it was instantly rejected by the Dutch champions. It is being reported that Rangers will return to the table once again, but Alan Hutton holds reserves where the Rangers will be able to splash that kind of money on him. When asked if Rangers would be willing to pay up to land a striker, Hutton said in an interview, I'm not sure they will. I think they will only go so far. If we are talking about £7 million that is being touted for him, it is a big investment for Rangers. I have seen clips of him and I think he is the profile of a player that Michael Beal will like. I think he is probably like Morelos, but better because he moves better. But there is a cut off for everybody. They will have their own valuation and if it goes above that, then they will move on to the next target. Danilo made 34 appearances and scored 10 goals for Feyenoord last season. Rangers players are under too much pressure and that could be causing an injury pileup. That is according again to Alan Hutton, who spoke about the return of Dr. Mark Waller and stated that it is a step in the right direction for the club. The Light Blues confirmed on the 23rd of June the return of former club doctor who will take on a new role as Director of Medical and Performance. The 65-year-old spent four years at Ibrox and worked alongside Michael Bill before departing for Leicester City. Waller has also worked for Premier League sides with Liverpool and Aston Villa. The Jers have had their fair share of player injuries, particularly last season. Summer 2022 signings John Suter and Tom Lawrence were sidelined for the majority of the campaign with an injury. Kemar Roof has been struggling with an injury for a lengthy period of time and has visited Qatar for specialist treatment. When asked if the appointment of Waller could alleviate some of the injury problems at the club, Hutton said, I hope so. It is a guy that comes back into the club he knows too well. He's got a wealth of experience from down south, so he knows what he's talking about. You look at the likes of Kemar Roof and all the injury problems that they had throughout the season, there was quite a lot. Whether he is coming in to oversee everything, look at what they're doing in training, whether there is too much pressure on the players, I think it's a step in the right direction for someone with that experience to come in and pass down his knowledge to everyone that is there. Chris Sutton and Todd Cantwell have reignited their public spat on Twitter. The pair have clashed previously with the former Celtic player claiming Rangers playmaker Cantwell went down a bit easy in a win over Hibs back in May. Then Michael Beale defended Cantwell over the comments as he stated, we all know where he's coming from in a clear reference to Sutton. Cantwell then poked fun at Sutton, sharing an image of a cut on his shared leg remark, saying probably a dive. Now the pair have re-engaged in a war of words on social media after Cantwell aimed a playful dig at Sutton in response to a question on the best pundit in Scottish football. 
On Twitter, Cantwell replied, I can tell you isn't Chris Sutton. And Sutton was quick to respond to Cantwell as he branded the player TikTok in his reply. Sutton wrote, Here is some balanced factual punditry from last season, TikTok, you may not enjoy. He joined Rangers on a free from the championship and lost every meaningful game against Celtic and won nothing. Not finished, Cantwell then suggested that he was fishing for a response from Twitter troll Sutton. He added, Twitter troll has his notifications on then. In their previous interaction, Sutton had said of Cantwell and BT Sport, he went down a bit easy for the free kick. He has to watch that, hasn't he? Referees will eventually cotton on. And Bill defended Cantwell, stating, We all know where it's coming from. That was a blatant foul at the weekend. Two hands in his chest and anywhere else on the pitch is a foul. Why would Todd just fall over? But now there's a narrative around it. He's doing really well and I think we should just enjoy him while he's in our league. He's been in our league for a few months and he's shown a lot of bright things. The sum it would cost to oust Neil Doncaster from his position as chief executive of the SPFL has been revealed. Reports state that the SPFL would need to fork out in the region of £800,000 to part company with its CEO. The report also states that the Englishman has a lengthy notice period too, which is said to run for two years. The latest figures show that Doncaster on a lucrative contract at the SPFL raked in £392,000 in 2022, including bonuses. That was up from the 388000 he took home in the previous year and is a massive increase on the £172,000 salary in his first earned when he joined the company in 11 years ago. At several points during his tenure spanning over a decade, Doncaster has come under intense scrutiny over several business dealings involving the SPFL, most notably the cinch dispute between the league, Rangers and Park Motors Group. It was revealed on Monday this week that Rangers having granted permission by the Scottish FA to pursue a legal action against the SPFL over the dispute. It is understood that Rangers are seeking an apology over the matter and legal costs for the reputational damage that they have suffered as a consequence of the row. So if Doncaster is forced into such a public climb down, it may prove damaging to him reputationally, while the cost of the league could end up running into many hundreds of thousands of pounds. Although clearly any notion that his position could come under that threat because of the way that deal was handled to be tampered by it, some of it would cost the SPFL the clubs to remove him. The report states while there is nothing illegal or improper about Doncaster being in possession of a two-year notice period, it is highly irregular. The decision to lengthen Doncaster's notice period to 24 months was taken by the SPFL committee sometime in summer of 2021. A source is close to the SPFL told newspapers, issues such as chief executive's contract and all such matters are dealt with and improved by the board following a rigorous and detailed process. Rangers fans, what are your thoughts on Danilo? And would you want the club to spend up to £7 million on him this summer? Yes or no? Let me know down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Remember, we do have Rangers t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go to rfcclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.